Hi everybody, welcome back to Little Rocky Top Homestead. So today I thought I would do a video on Christmas gifts that you can actually make yourself for people that doesn't cost very much money. Homesteading I think is a lot to do with saving money. So one of the things that you can actually do is um, learn how to crochet or knit. And I am very much a beginner in crocheting. I've known how to make chains for a very long time. But um, last year, to save some money, I made three or four different stocking caps for people. And this year I'm doing the exact same thing again. So this one I actually made for my daughter, which it's too small now. She was very, very little then. And um, this is the basic pattern that I've been doing for all of my stocking caps. Then that's a little baby size. This one is again, I just made the other day, just finished it. And um, it's very soft. Also for a young one. And then this one I have to show backwards because I actually put a name on this one. And um, this person watches our videos, so I don't want them to know whose hat this is. But anyways, made this one that has a little pom pom on top. And um, I'll link the video below of where I learned this pattern. It's on YouTube and um, very simple, easy to follow. So if I can make it, you can make it. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love getting homemade items for people. And I have a scarf that I wear all the time doing chores that my mom had, had got commissioned for me for Christmas years ago. And it's just, it adds a little something extra special whenever someone actually took their time out of their day to make you something. Making something for somebody really, I feel like, comes from the heart. So I hope everyone who gets the gifts from me feel that way also. Um, and another thing that you can do for people if um, if you uh, if you're skilled at like drawing or painting is drawing or painting somebody a gift. I did this last year as well because last year we were we were really had a really tight budget for Christmas. And so I did, I think, three paintings as well. Four paintings, actually, for people. And you can, you can do something easy and simple. Like, I saw, I do this all the time. I see signs at Hobby Lobby or something like that, and I think, I could just make that. I don't have to buy that. I could just make it. I never do. But last year, I saw one, and I really wanted to get this for my mom, and I thought, I could easily make this at home. And so I took a picture of it, and I came home, and I basically painted it. But I I tweaked it a little bit to make it a little more personal. It was a, a cat painting, and so I made the cat look like her cat. <laughs> and this had a little quote with it. Turned out really well. I painted a Highland calf for my sister-in-law. And then I painted a really pretty field scene for my grandma. And I painted... Um, what you call it, like a last name, a sign that had the last name and when they got married type of thing, the year, for my cousin. And put little mushrooms on that because they're very much into mushrooms and foraging and all that adventure stuff. And so, and also I, I feel like I'm not that great of a painter. So doing all that really enhanced me on my skill. I've gotten a lot better because this year I'm also painting somebody a painting and it's huge. <laughs> it's, it's probably one of the biggest paintings I've ever done and it has a lot of detail in it but it looks fantastic. And that's not me bragging on myself. I'm very proud of myself for coming this far away. But um, I can't show it to you either because it's you know, also a gift for somebody. But I will show you a few of the other things that I've done I kind of give you an idea. It doesn't always have to be uh, normal. <laughs> I don't know. I'll show you. Hold on. Okay. So just a few of the things that I have done. <laughs> um, I'll show you the normal one first. Okay. I'll show you this one first. And this, hopefully, there's not like too much, too much of a glare on it. But this is a drawing I did because. I was really wanting some more like pictures in our home um, 
drawings. Like I said, I see signs all the time and pictures and stuff in stores that I would like, but I think I can just do that myself. So I thought, well, why not? <laughs> so anyways, I drew this and I had to cut it out to fit the frame. But I really like it. I uh, really hope you can see this well on glass. But anyways, I really, really like this. I love bears. Bears are probably my favorite thing to draw. And, um, anyways, it took, took a little bit of time, but it was like one evening. And now these, these are actually from about four years ago or so. But, um, these are just some paintings I've done. This one is my absolute favorite. I... I absolutely love this. I think it is hilarious, and I would like to have this on a hoodie. <laughs> I actually entered this in an art contest and um, won a prize for that. But I think I think this one's great. But like people like my brother or just you know your goofy relative, they would love things like this. His wife might not, but he would. He would think it's funny. Um, and then like this one, this was a fall painting I did, same same time frame, and. Like I said, you don't, these don't have to cost a lot of money. You know, canvases, if you buy, like, these ones can come in, like, I think a set of four. Pretty, pretty fairly cheap. And then, with this stuff, whenever I painted these, all I had was basically the primary colors and a basic little art set. And, um, I had ink. I had a little jar of ink. And that's what I did all the black with. Everything else was just, I think it was a, a no, they were watercolor. These were watercolor, but a primary set of watercolor. So not, not very many options, you know, on things. But you can still make it work. <sighs> Sorry, if throwing that is very loud. Um, another thing that you can do is to give away some of your canning that you've done. I've done this in the past before. I've given away salsa, um, wrapped it up as a gift, and pickles as a gift. And um, this year we might even do some of our. I don't know. Or not opinions. Um, let me get those and show you. Okay, so these are some of the things that I have canned this year. Um, these are our not opinions, our heatless jalapenos we grew this year. They are so good. If you don't like heat, but you like the flavor of a jalapeno, you 100% need to get some not opinions growing. I will be growing a lot of those this coming year and hopefully taking those to the farmer's market. And then I did pickles because I had a surplus of cucumbers. They uh, they were very much showing off this year. And so, anyways, I have some pickles that I've done. And um, you know, people people like this stuff. I mean, I would love this stuff as a gift. And it's something that you made. Once again, you're putting your heart into something. And so, I feel like anything homegrown, homemade. It's just extra special. Then anyone can go to a store and buy something. But this, this is a piece of you, you know, that you're you're showing and sharing with people. So I think that's really neat. Okay, and another thing, one last thing that I can think of, is plants. And if you know me, you know I'm constantly propagating plants. <laughs> and so I have these snake plants here that have been in this jar for forever. I cannot tell you how long. Obviously, they are growing babies big time. They just need to be in a pot. Um, but they've just been in this jar of water. <laughs> but, um, like this one, this one right here, it's got a really good baby on that. This one as well. Has a good baby girl, and these need to be in a pot. This is me getting on to me, but um, those very easy to propagate. Snake plant, cup of leaves, stick it in water, leave it for forever, and it will grow roots and it'll grow baby. And then potting that up and giving it to somebody that's a great gift, especially if you have plant lovers in your family, which my family is riddled with them. Uh, we have learned that about each other. We all are obsessed with plants. <laughs> uh, my mom gave me a propagation off her ginormous philodendron. She gave me a propagation off it and I love it. Right here is a plant I have had for for a few years now. And it desperately needs to be repotted. Because <laughs> it is it has roots coming out the bottom and I've just never repotted it. But it is it's a 
grimy. It it's doing so well. I cannot I cannot express to you how much I love this plant. But um, if I wanted to, how it's get it's real bushy up here, but it's kind of straggly down here, um, which I like this. But if you don't, you can cut it about right in there. Stick this in some water. There you go. You will have roots off these in no time. They they put off roots so fast. Very, very fast to propagate. But I know so many people that would just love to have a propagation. Have their own little plant without it costing them money. But those right there, that's just that's some that's a few little gift ideas that if you're not sure what to get somebody and you're maybe have a budget you're on, you know, want to be real real strict and not overspend or spend on big corporations or whatever. Um, those are some ideas you could do. Yarn is not that expensive. You can get the Red Heart yarn for like $3 for one skein and make a hat. Make two hats maybe. I don't know. Baking. Baking is another good thing that people love. If you want to make some breads for somebody, make some cinnamon rolls, wrap those up, a pie. You know, people would love that stuff. They love home-baked things. People love homemade gifts. I love homemade gifts. I love giving them. I love receiving them. It's just, it's a good good thing to do, you know? So, um, as you can see, we're all ready for the holidays. We got the Christmas tree up. We got the stockings hung, garlands up, lights up. And um, so I just wanted to get this video out there before it's too close to Christmas so you have time to do these things. But, um, yeah, just, just find out what kind of stuff your people like and then make them something, you know? Find out their favorite color and then make them a hat in that color, you know? That's just an idea, their favorite animal. Draw them a picture, paint them a painting. I'm not saying it has to be a really huge one like I'm doing. <laughs> you can do some smaller ones, you know? And, um, or propagate them a plant, you know? Things, things like that people like. Share some of your seeds. You know, I I love going through my seed collection whenever I have people over, and I love giving away some of my extra seeds that I have. I do it all the time. You know, it, it's it's exciting. So to pick out some of your seeds from things that you know grow really well, and you know, put them in a little bundle and put that in someone's stocking. You know, or you know, just wrap it up as their gift. That's that's sharing your food with somebody. I just. I feel like those are some really good gifts and some really easy gifts that you can do. Like I said, I will link that video for the hats below and um, it's a very simple pattern. <laughs> so that way you can do that and thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please like and subscribe. Thanks.